Hey, what's up, guys? We didn't do the music last time either at the other place, so. Oh, kicking shit. But uh, welcome to episode 34 of Comic Convos. Joining me tonight is Izzy. Hey, everyone. Everyone say hi to Izzy. You know, if you get a chance. You, know, where, where, you guys know what to do. Welcome. Tonight's going to be great. I'm Axel. Good to see you, as always. Uh, Leo's taking care of stuff, so hopefully he'll be back next week. Uh, regardless, tonight we are talking about the gift. But, you know, uh, in, a, in addition to that, we'll be talking about other comic book stuff. We'll be talking about movies, TV shows, and stuff. Uh, there have been a lot of recent releases. Inhumans also dropped this last week, right? It's Friday. Friday? Yeah, right. Sure. So the next episode will be tomorrow. Episode 3. Or no, it's been... Oh, or no, it's Friday. Yeah, 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 Friday. I, yep, I yep, only yep. know because I checked... Earlier, my father still September, wants to watch it. Right. Yes, so 29th. Friday, so that's right, because then I'm on the 30th. For a second. Regardless, you know, we've gotten that drop. We got the drop of the gifted, which would have been what, Wednesday? No, Tuesday? it was Monday. Monday. Man, Monday. those are like two days, three days apart. That's crazy how close they are together. You know what I mean? Like, that's insane. And then we got, what was it, last week too? For games, we got Cuphead. Cuphead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if anybody's only that only game. the Xbox players got Cuphead though. Well, and PC players too. But... Oh, that's cool. But then wouldn't they have, they had to pay for it though, didn't they? Or yeah, everyone. Yeah, them? everyone. Yeah, pay for it. Okay. But that's just the way it is, unfortunately, you know. And uh, you know, before I go any further into the comment convos, conversations, and stuff, I want to give a big shout out to all of the uh, patrons on our Patreon account, which is uh, Patreon p a t r e o n dot com slash comic convos c o m I C O N V O S, uh, and we have uh, five patrons. We have Cy Kennedy, Susie Marie, Tyler Lockridge. We have Mikey Neve, and I always have trouble with our very last patron. He's gonna be mad. It's I have a list <laughs> somewhere. Okay, it's it's around. I will I will figure this out. Trust me. But in the meantime. You know, we are uh, hoping to see comments from all of you, which hopefully are coming up. I'm trying to fix my shit, because I suck. It should be a little positive. Or not. Oh no, Izzy's getting a bing. So... I guess we'll just start off the conversation as we always do about the main topic and you know what are your thoughts so far on the gifted man like without giving too much away obviously I liked it it was uh, a lot of characters you don't really hear about there was a couple there was one I really didn't even know about I had to go look it up to see who he was I never heard about that one the Indian character I thought he was uh, you thought he was Warpath didn't yeah you? I thought he was Warpath and uh, but he was a character, I guess, that they've never really. Yeah, he used said he shows up like. I thought he showed up like once. They said somewhere. yeah a couple times, but he's not. But a he's very yeah he's character. very very obscure, uh, definitely, and that's fine. You know, he's, I like it. Uh, the one character I couldn't place was, but I don't know if that's because I wasn't paying because I was in and out on that one because, all around. But I did pay attention to the main thing. I just didn't always catch names because uh, everything moved pretty quick. But it was the guy light guy uh, who was that yeah, yeah I, I didn't know too. who that was either so if anyone else knows and would like to tell us we'd greatly appreciate it so then there's polaris and then we have blink which i liked and who was the other characters that we had in there um so we have polaris, oh well, there was blink. another character that kind of showed us up for like a quick second and then they switched it back over he had his whole face kind of like black was like metal kind of almost. Oh, I remember. I don't that. know who that was. Yeah, either, I don't yeah, know. They didn't really popped up really quick for just like a, literally a quick second. And yeah, he... like it was like boom. <laughs> that was it. Like they had, they did a good job on that. I thought the cooler stuff was the involvement of the Strucker name, even though they didn't do any of the classic Strucker stuff. Like just the fact they did the name is good enough. And with that being said, you know the. That really drives, I think, the powerfulness of the story, is, as opposed to some other stories, like in humans, that people have been criticizing, like the power behind the, that mm -hmm. story. You know what I mean? It's like a lot of people I even saw commenting saying that they were like, "Oh, why am I even fighting? Or why am I even mad at Maximus again?" 
Which I'd like to point out, you know, the murder of Triton and random innocent girl, but... You know, people will see what they want to see. And, like, it's not to say that there wasn't, like, honest concerns, because it's like, Black Bolt is this... Like, so far as he's this... As I've seen, he was displayed as kind of a dictator from on high. Doesn't really see the people or talk to the people kind of thing. So when the premiered, was it just the first episode? No, it was the two hour. Two? Yeah, it okay. was a two hour premiere. So then, so will we get the new episode next week or will they skip next week? And then... I don't, I don't know. I'm hoping they just put it out, but at the same time, that'll increase the speed of the run. Yeah, that would. How many episodes do you think they'll go in? I think. Well, for this, they already have eight. Oh, that's it? They just said that we have I eight? I think they seven. only have eight, maybe ten. But that I think that's... about right that, for they, up. Because nowadays, the TV, whatever series, are, the seasons are usually confirmed. At least usually the first season. They get like, oh, they get this much of a run, and it's like, boom. Oh, man. And hopefully we get some people coming in to... Conversate. Yeah. <laughs> it's also be better if I had set up like the laptop and my phone was working well, but it, that is not happening. Oh, that might be why. Till then, uh, I want to say like there was a lot though in Gifted that would like made it pop out, and I think like a lot of that was the use of powers, like not to be specific, but like the effects were really cool. Mm hmm. The displays of like how they were used or could That's be used. Pretty cool, yeah. Everything was good. Like the CGI. Stuff with, was CGI. Good. Even the the just the general uh, scenery. You know what I mean. The mm -hmm. basic filmography was really good comparatively to in humans, which isn't bad necessarily, just not good. <laughs> in humans was yeah, like I said, just it was mediocre. It's... Yeah, it was mediocre. Yeah, at best it was mediocre, but I wouldn't say it was, it was terrible. Yeah, right? like everyone's just like it's a zero. It's like this has problems. Definitely problems. Let's see if it can improve. Well, on its yeah, way we'll through. see how. Yeah, hopefully. Like I said maybe by the end of the thing, we'll see how that goes. There was a lot in the episode that people complained about that I agreed with and also complained about myself. But that doesn't mean it makes like just because I have the one complaint doesn't make it bad. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. How do I? I am never gonna figure this out again. Am I? <sighs> making trying to make sure it works yeah it's all mine yeah, as long as it's working it works. yeah see you're good this is hard one sometimes it takes a while sometimes it's only in 10 to 15 minutes yeah we're good so but uh let's see so what else do we have look look forward then to huh just the oh i mean movie. Thor and Justice League. Uh, I, you know, I'm looking forward to it. Tied the chief like it. That one kind of just falls behind the, the you know, everything the, else. Yeah, yeah, everything else. Like, like, and don't get me wrong. Like, and it's funny too because I see the DC fans trying so hard to shit on Marvel for that. And it's not to say it's not, but like statistically, it's only number four in most anticipated com upcoming comic book movies, mm -hmm. which is behind Thor, behind Infinity War, and behind. I don't even remember what else. There's another one because it's four. So it's got to be. Black Panther. Black Panther comes might out in February. It's, they're so hyped. I mean, the, the music choices alone. <coughs> is and the thing is, I, I'm hoping Justice League, like you said, repairs all the problems that I had with Batman vs. Superman and all of the. and keeps all the good stuff that I liked from Wonder Woman. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, there was a lot of good things in Wonder Woman that I enjoyed. Yeah, Wonder Woman was good. I, uh... I just, like, I still just don't like that boss. The boss... That was it. That was... Well, the pro... But the problem was that the boss was too soon, not that the boss was... It was also that they, like, oh, well, she just immediately beats Ares. That, and then after. it was just, like, this little asshole is the, the Ares. Ares, so yeah, like, they could have done better casting. But that's just one thing, and that's why it pulls it down to, like, an... Eight and a half for me, I think I, I rank it. I like it. I yeah, like it. No, 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 film. it's still pretty good. Out of all the DC movies, 
that they've come out with so far, you know, mm-hmm. just Batman vs. Superman and the Superman movie. And then, what else do we got? That's really it. Yeah. Oh, oh Suicide just, Squad. A suicide, but... Mm. And that's honestly really all you can and say. And Suicide Squad is better than the other two, kind of, but not that great still. Seven or eight? The story seven, not even eight, just seven. Like, yeah, there was no real storyline. Star- it yeah, like, it's like they just didn't know what to write. They're like, what did we write about a bunch of villains? How do we make these characters work together without actually having a good plot to put them together? Yeah. It was definitely tough. And then, uh... What else then? So, Thor, I think I'm more excited, really, than anything. For... I'm pretty excited, especially after the most recent trailers and snips that have, like, been being put out. Uh, for example, I want to say most specifically, the Loki scene has been the best. I, I try not to, uh, watch trailers anymore, because I'll watch, like, the first trailer, and then that's about it. Oh, man, they're nice, though. I honestly feel like it shows too much. I feel like some of them would, but this one, especially considering what the first trailer had already shown, yeah, they just give more snippets of funness, not necessarily, like, too much giveaway. Now, the other Thor trailers, like, some of them, like, oh, the second one where it's, like, him and Banner, I don't know mm-hmm. if you haven't seen it, but I don't I know. Maybe two, maybe two trailers for that whole Oh, movie. we got live viewers, finally, yay, and it's me, yo, Tyler! How's it going, buddy? You know what Comic-Con I think back in the that it didn't actually send a notification today for some reason. Yeah, I don't know why it didn't send a notification, guys. We we, we aren't. It didn't usually on my phone, I'll get, I'll get one from you guys. I know I'm like, oh, they're on today. But like right now, it didn't even say anything. Yeah, so share and let your peoples and peeps know, because apparently we uh we didn't get the live push that we had before, usually. But we also are sometimes have the event scheduled, and I don't think we did it this week, because... Obviously, me and Leo have been busy. Sorry, guys. No excuse, but still, it's the truth. Um, I gotta say, though, yeah, I'm so excited for that. The Revengers. The Revengers? The Revengers? <laughs> the Revengers. <laughs> no, but that's from the Thor trailer, so it's... Yeah, let's see. Well, so, after we finish Black Panther, and we finish the, the Infinity War... Then, movie, like, yeah, I know. I don't then know. Then what? That might be it. They might have to restart on a new set of heroes. Well, we got Miss Marvel coming, so maybe we explore the cosmic universe more. That's what I say. We should do more a little bit. I think especially with how popular Guardians is, like I feel like it'd be a great, great place to start. Yeah. DC's just barely starting with their, but I feel like, like I said, they just rushed theirs just so quickly. They did, but let's see if they. Well, and that's and then it's like then they rushed it so quick. And then what's going to end up happening is like, well, we're done. We have nothing mm-hmm. else to see. <laughs> so what do we do? It's like, what? And then, like, now even that monster universe, I feel like, is not going to really happen. Because I was reading some things now with, like, that Bride of Frankenstein movie. The director saying that it's not going to be involved at all in that universe. Even though Universal promoted that movie and their, like, you know, their little teaser that they wow. gave out. That's crazy, though. Why wouldn't they do it? Like, everyone's hyped for it Don't now. Don't come out until 2019. Jeez. And I... I don't know whose idea it was to make that movie movie with Tom Cruise. Oh, that, though. Yeah, I've heard god-awful things. I haven't even seen it yet. But I like, whose idea it. was it? Like, you know... We need a mummy movie with Tom Cruise. Cruise. And we're gonna have to sit him on a box. Because <laughs> he's only, like, my height. And he's, like, five... Not Six only that, something. but it was like, we'll just make it like a Mission Impossible movie, but with a mummy. <laughs> That's how I felt like it was, in the trailers, it felt like it was a Mission Impossible movie. Yeah. With the and mummy then, added into it. Yeah, with like slight horror. I mean, they got a good horror feel, but it just felt like such a cop, but with nothing new and interesting. Yeah, I think it just needed a better... I, I think, honestly, that just movie needed to go a different route than the actual... I don't know if we even needed another mummy is the thing. I don't know. Especially that I'm, mummy. I'm, I wanted a movie like almost like the Brandon Fraser mummy. Like, I, that was good. That it, was it good. It was, but it's been done like three times now. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. But that was like a good fresh take on it, I think. Like a very good... And then the second one kind of got more adventure-y and... And the and third one blew out of the yeah. <laughs> Jet Li. Was that what they were? <laughs> the Dragon King. <laughs> Sorry. 
But, no, I mean, it's been interesting, to say the least, for that kind of stuff, and not in a good way. <laughs> like, a lot of the remake stuff has not been hitting the markets and the crowd appeal they need to hit. Like, the Ghostbusters remake, I heard, even though it wasn't bad, just didn't... It wasn't all there. Yeah. It wasn't what it should have been. Tyler! Yeah! <laughs> I thought it was going to be better. I was really hoping for some good stuff. Although I'm not a big fan of the actresses they had anyway, like the one... I like, M M what's her name? Margaret Robbie. No, yeah. no, not Margaret Robbie. She did it. The M big McCarthy. one. McCarthy, yeah. yeah. I like her, and I like what's the other blonde chick. I kind of like her. Uh, I think they're all right, but they're just not... The, and I just didn't like Leslie uh, something. I forget her name. Like Leslie. And then the other one, the redhead girl. Yeah. I didn't care for them too much. McCarthy maybe not too much. She's actually a way better comedian, and she, I think it was what she was given that that's why she couldn't give her full potential. Because honestly, she does some really good movies. Like, have you seen I Spy? Yeah, but her co style of comedy is the same style of comedy again and again. You know what I mean? No, look like anybody that's like, though. That's like. I mean, it's, but that's not always true. Like comedy, you can do different things. But she rely not let's say relies, but does that character well, so she's cast in those roles. Oh yeah. Not saying she can't do other roles or doesn't do other roles. Just saying that that's her kind of like built up persona, just like Adam Sandler's persona is that oh yeah goofy funky. But he he's I, have you seen the Shoemaker? Yes, and like I said, he has roles outside of that, yeah. but that's just what he's known for. True, and true. Well known. And it's like kind of his brand, you know what I mean? Well, yeah, I mean Happy Madison and all those other guys he kind of grew up with to grow with him. That's kind of yeah, it's definitely is. And so we talk about how then how an actor can like influence the portrayal of the characters how how much do we like count on that for especially for when we're doing comic book portrayals so like the one that i've been hearing a lot is black bolt isn't strong ha doesn't have a strong enough presence that actor to like do the unspoken thing uh, i i thought he did i thought he did all right His face... did, did anybody else in you know watching think about that if you've seen in humans uh yeah it was very I feel like... Yeah, because even, like, looking in his eyes, you kind of just kind of got from him, like, oh, okay, I know what you mean, what you're talking about, without him doing the sign language kind of part. Yeah, he was just... Like, I felt like he was expressive, but what they're saying is he doesn't have the raw power to, like, just pull off the unspoken character. And it's, like, it's not easy to do. Like, Silent Bob is a good example of that, like, even though he's not a big person, like, he no. just has a good character power and, like... But I kind of disagree and disagree... But, but it's more so because of how powerless they show him as being. Like, if he was more powerful, I feel like his nonchalant attitude would come off better. Like, if he wasn't getting taken down by st stupid shit. Which, if you haven't seen, go watch. I'll try not to spoil that. Um, has anyone else seen anything or watched anything lately that they want to talk about? Gotham, uh, etc. Uh, we've got tons of shows coming out. Uh, and going to be coming out again. I know Flash just got another season confirmed, and they're like ready to start going soon enough. Mm. Uh, ah. The legs. The legs. And then, like I said, Cuphead came out. Cuphead. You guys really need to try. If you have Xbox One well, or PC, I really recommend playing that game. I haven't tried, but you know, hopefully it's good, and I'll have to check it out. I've been doing too much uh, it's all editing hand lately. Everything. Oh, it's is that one? Yeah. Dude, right. I want to check it out then. Yeah, I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, now. Okay. The 1950s. Style yes. Game. Okay. Yeah. I have yeah. To get so that this then. game Damn. looks like a 1950s style kind of type game, and it's played like your old school kind of type game, like Mega Man, Metroid. Which means all oh, those hard really as shit. yeah really hard really hard games, and. Uh, it just basically wants you to learn the mechanics and use the mechanics to kind of like really help you beat the game and all that. You have to really utilize all the mechanics it gives you because without that, then you really can't. It's really hard, difficult to beat. The boss levels are ridiculous. Um, I'm stuck on the second part because I can't even beat the, the bosses they have on that level. And um, like I said, check it out because it looks like a really looks like you're watching like a 1950 cartoon. Dude, I'm so excited <laughs> for that. So with that in mind, you know, we've talked about the comics and gifted a little bit, you know, and as we have more viewers, what 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 recently in comic releases have you been checking out, Izzy? Like, what's what's the most recent things you've been reading? Oh, and that last I still need to catch up from last week, but then finally after that I read Venomverse three finally. Nice. So did didn't four come out this last week too? I think it just ended actually this week. 
But they still got two more though after this. I think they're doing post Venomverse, but like they ended Venomverse. That was pretty quick. Yeah, it was like a five issue series. I was surprised. Really, I thought it, was it so wasn't very started. satisfying either. Oh, then because the fifth one when it came out this week, then yes. So they came out with the issue every week. Mm-hmm. That's really crazy. Yeah, they released those really fast. So like, I wonder, was it? The, did it look like a different artist each issue, or was it? The no, I mean it basically looked. Similar, maybe a little bit of a different take. There's but no way he the, that one artist did all that. In well, the thing is, it just might have delayed the release. If he did it all and then they released it one at a time. Although he, I was That's reading a lot the of work. yeah, and I was reading the post. It was probably several artists doing. That's why I book, said there's got to like be three. at least several artists that were yeah. helping on the book. Because as even as I read the post on it, it's like I'm writing the last verse or whatever the epic log and the first one has just come out is literally what it said there. okay so they were working a couple weeks ahead they're trying to do that with the avengers it's cool they're i like to it because they want to do the u.s avengers the uncanny avengers and the regular avengers and what's this another one U.S. Avengers? I thought I they were combining those. With, so you, yeah, they're Uncanny, all combining US those all, new... And they're just all going to be one Avengers book now. And they're going to come out supposedly every week. I think they just did that. Because it starts in no, January. No, no, no. The no, one it starts I, until January. The one I just read actually was like Avengers Champion crossover or some bullshit. Yeah, that's the colli- uh, colliding worlds or whatever, right? With, uh, yeah. with the Avengers and the Champions. It's pretty messed up, too. Like, Vision's a dick to his daughter, man. Have you read the Vision comic? Mm-hmm. The one with well, yeah, his family and yeah, and I the didn't Reaper. finish it, dude. It's pretty good. I thought it was well, great. Well, yeah, he got an award, Tom King, for that one. He should have. It was good. Yeah, he was good. You could, you should finish it. Like, That's why it, I follow him now. I like him. If he was that good, then he got that, that much of a reputation. That him, that him and Donny Cates now. Wow. The guy who did God Country and uh, Redneck. Wow, I, I, I just caught up on that. He's, and now he's re, uh, writing Doctor Strange oh, yeah. and Thanos. So we'll see how that goes. Definitely. Yeah, but let's see what else was I reading then for comic wise. Um, I finished the Black Hammer, that one that just came out. Oh, I don't think I just read the most recent one. That was the one where she. Is it the one where she becomes? Yeah. Okay, then I did read that yeah. one. Okay, I didn't know that one was the most recent one because. No, I... that was no, that wasn't recent. It's because I, was... I told you it was so far behind. I know, I know, I, I know. Catch it up with I know. I'm, I'm just like though. Sometimes, bro, I forget where I'm at. I'm gonna lose track of a book. Have you checked out a uh, Scarlet Spider? Yeah, I'm reading that one too. Ben, did you ben just read? Yeah, oh, yeah, and Death. Oh yeah, I just finished that one. Reading that, that one's one. so cool. I just took that fact too for the page. Was the one where he she's like? I just find it weird that she kind of just came out of nowhere though, and just like was. But cool. they gave oh, the she did, she did give an explanation. Yeah, and it. I like that explanation too, and it makes a little sense because people will bring up. I don't know if I want to ruin it. How old is that now? That's like a week or two old, right? Yeah. Because they already brought Kane back. Yeah. He's... Yeah. So it's two weeks old. I'm spoiling it for anyone who hasn't read it. <laughs> Izzy's not here. He can't stop me. He can't stop me. <laughs> um. And, and, and it's just a small fact. It's not really involved with the story, but Death tells Ben Riley, who is the clone of Peter Parker who died and then recently came back as the Jackal and, like, cloned a bunch of people, but only came back as the Jackal after being revived by the Jackal and then killed, like, countless times and brought back. Anyway, Death tells him he's, like, died the most and he's like what in the world he's like no the universe he's like, which is crazy thought thought to think about wasn't he something like he's if he dies one more time though that he his soul his, like break. he won't come back yeah because he's so corrupted now well, i thought because he would come, come back, back so much though. i thought he would come back but he would just like be super evil or something that's oh yeah that's what she said okay yeah 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 you wouldn't be, you wouldn't be the same yeah. person anymore. Yeah, that's what like she said you, or some shit like that. if you don't, you know, so if you stop, then you'll be cool and you'll, you'll heal. Heal, yeah, which is cool thought. Like, if anyone hasn't checked it out, please do check that out Scarlet Spider-Man. That was a good one. I've been reading that, that one, and then... That was a really good series in general, the new clone, the new clone saga. Like, bringing Riley back as Jackal, that was insane. That was pretty insane. I wasn't really expecting that. I thought it was going to be the Jackal. Right. Like, the original Jackal. But then, yet yeah, he had the, those the jackal like the jackal homie doing it for him. Mm-hmm. That was funny. so fucked the way he got him too. The now you'll never know, 
if you want to find out, just stop taking it. And they just never did because he didn't want to find out. That was great. That was a good one. Definitely. And then, uh, what else have I been reading then? Uh... Dude, I've been doing a ton. Uh, well, I've been doing a bunch of DC reading too, though. Have you have you finally caught up at all on Dark Knights? I, uh, I'm, I'll read online eventually. Oh, that's what I'm going to do with it. Because too the many tie-ins with that one. I don't, I don't feel like buying all of those issues just for Just for the pay. one, yeah. Honestly, I though, the cool thing like, about them is the side ones. Like, they're tie-ins, but they're really just self-contained stories. Oh, you see? See, and I hate when they do that. Then At that point, then they shouldn't even call it a tie-in. They should just call it, like, a, like well, a the thing side... Is, like a side story. But the thing point. is, the ones that are, like, tie-ins, like... The Teen Titan one, or the, those ones do have. See, but then at that, then you should call those tie-ins. But those ones are the yeah, tie-ins. yeah. But the other ones are part of the run, but then they're not called tie-ins. Then, I say, you but it's like Batman, those. the Red Death, and Batman, Murder Machine. Those yeah. are the two ones, and those are the only ones that are kind of like self-contained stories. But with, even then, they tie the in. End. But it's just like at the end. With oh, the, and and uh, Dawnbreaker or whatever. What do you think about the Punisher being the War Machine? Oh, we'll have to see how They've been goes. teasing it a lot yeah, already, just... so it's not really a spoiler, spoiler because Marvel's already been teasing it a lot. <laughs> they tease everything. With they him and he's wearing the War Machine outfit and he has the skull on it instead. Yeah, so. and he's just like, oh god. I'm... So I wonder what they're, how they're gonna do. I've been really honest. I've been loving the Punisher. Uh, run His right runs so are pretty great. Uh... Just even the one where like they're just. Not even, like, a continuous one of the story. They're just kind of a side story where he, like, the gun, he goes and tries to get his gun back. Oh, yeah, and the guy... Is that, was like, that was really dope. good I had writing. one of the facts from that one where he just, like, bam! He's like, do it, I dare you. That was fucking That was great. really good writing on that part because it was just a story, a self-contained story. You didn't have to, like, know what was, like, going on. You could have just, just read that one story, issue yeah. and you would know what was going on exactly. So exactly. I, and I like that kind of stuff. And even the last one they did like that, too. Uh, what was it, though? What was he doing in that one? I forgot. Uh, shoot. There was another one like that where it was just kind of self-contained. And just Wasn't he like a kind of like... It was like, oh... Oh, I know which one you're talking about. It was so good. It was, it was just, like last week, wasn't yeah, it? Was it was last week or something not too long ago. I want to I wanna look it up, but I know I don't have time necessarily in the middle of the stream. Oh. I feel like it was like a one where you're like Day of the Punisher kind of thing, or like where you were following him on a mission. Something like that. Now I have to go look up because I can't think of it. And then even funny. last issue of Punisher was good where the uh, face came back. I all, liked it, all. although it's all crazy, but they had the explanation from before, yeah, so it's it not makes too... sense. And it, all right, so here's something I thought about this week that people will keep arguing, and I keep and I keep forgetting to like make my counter. So people are just like. I'm always like, oh, that's, you, you know, that could never happen. It's like, oh, it's a comic book, man. It's like, it's fantasy. I'm like, you know what? I reject that idea because it's not, uh, like, 100% fantasy. They're telling a narrative. You know what I mean? They've set the boundaries of their narrative prior. It's not, like, randomness or thing. It's like they're countering their own narrative. So when things become fallacies like that, then you start to lose a reader because... Things don't have to be real to the real world, but they have to be linear mm -hmm. to their own construction. Or, le or at least reverse linear, you know what I mean? Like, it's not 100% fantasy, it's kind of like, especially a lot of the ones we do, like, there, there's very few, like, super 100% fantasy things where it's, like, concepts that are beyond the mortal keen, like, out in the celestial psychic realms and shit like that it's like now you're on a planet with a person and it's like we're just asking us to accept a different version of something yeah we already know and so i was just like you can't just make a bullshit whatever you want and excuse it with fantasy and not be called bad writing <laughs> okay i just i want to make that clear to some people in the chat rooms in the forums who don't give a shit so it doesn't matter <laughs> Oh, we've only been live for 25 minutes, though, so that's not bad. So it's only been that long, huh? Yeah. Oh, man, what else has been coming out of you? What about all the X-Men stuff coming out? Are you talking about comic-wise? Oh, I heard they were going to do some big changes here for, uh... Was it Blue? X-Men Blue? Some well, big changes coming for it? 
Mm-hmm. Well, you and then well, <laughs> legacy just. Well, generations was pretty. Well, legacy well, just made huge changes. Oh yeah, and then uh, gener. Well, Generation X, I suppose. I guess I heard they're going back to the original team. That'll be interesting. And then, <coughs> yeah, and then uh, with bringing back some characters and legacy, so I'm curious to what they're gonna do with uh, Old Man Logan. The thing is, they already have. I wonder if they're just gonna finally just maybe do a couple more issues and then just kind of end off his run, his run on a good note where he. Yeah, I'm wondering if they might do that. I mean, he's a cool character though. Like realistically, like the the plot behind him and the fact that he's never met regular Wolverine, really. Like, how would that go though? Exactly. There's the you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's got to be done. Then you can let him go. Then you can let him go. Then he then he can be like, don't do it like me, son. Don't let it all fall apart and then disappear. It's like literally like, don't let your world fall to shit. Don't be like me. It was good at like the beginning. I remember it was good, and then like, especially the artist who was doing it at the beginning, I liked him. He was the great. art was a lot better at the beginning, but the story's yeah. not bad now. They did a lot of counter. Have you been reading lately? Yeah, I've been catching up with you, but I just hear. Tell you truth, I don't actually remember the last one that came out. What was the last one about? The hoax. Oh, pff, duh. Mm. Oh my gosh. How am I forgetting that whole story? Yeah, the last one was I, where he, I read where he, uh, where, what's her name? That she, the She Hulk came in all uh, fucked up. And uh, and then where were they going to go from there? They were going to go do something. I think they're going to go, like, stop some shit. But oh, now they're farther, but it's. Maybe that's the next issue. Yeah, and I want to see how that goes. It's interesting, though, for sure. Especially where they just left it now. The other thing I heard is they're doing an Old Man Hawkeye series now. I've seen that, too, but I, I don't know. I just want to see more of that post-apocalyptic world, though, bro. It was... Dude, it was like a darker version of the Ultimate Universe. Like, ah, oh, the villains won. Fuck everybody. Well, wasn't that... Uh, what's his name anyways wrote that anyways? Uh, it's there in the... Mark old... Miller. Yeah, but there's so much more of the world that could be explored. They only did like five Oh, issues. no, but I'm just saying though, like it had that, that feel because Mark Miller did that Old Man Logan and he was the one that also did Ultimates. I know. But that's what I'm saying. He oh. got to go even darker. Oh, in yeah, Old Man, Old Man Logan. Logan. Yeah, true. And he, and he the... only got, like, five issues to express it, which is, like, one run of the Ultimate series that, you, yeah. you know what I mean? It was good. I liked it towards the end, too. It was, uh, it was a little much. It was a little much with the, the, the inbred bullshit. I was like, yeah. It's a little much. The, the but... Hulk thing was a little much. He could have gone anywhere with that and been but like, then oh. I was like, well, I guess it kind of makes sense because, like, well, how else are you going to make a bunch of... Turn Betty into a Hulk? Uh, like, <laughs> Sorry, that would have been my better right? But it just, it did give him that, like, deranged and kind of, like, really nasty he, went, you know, he wanted to go down the hillbilly route, and he went down that hillbilly route. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they wanted him, he wanted to make him hillbillies, and that's how you make him hillbillies. So, I mean, we can't guess as to why he did it. You gotta send him a message like, why did you have to do the inbred thing? And yeah. Just hit him on Twitter. Maybe he'll reply. Well, there he's busy with his Miller world or whatever. I have been reading that Reborn. Well, it just ended a while back, but did you ever finish reading that? I think so. Because it was only like maybe seven issues, and they said he'll come back, though. Maybe take a break. Just like Seven to Eternity, he's gonna take a break there and come back till February. Yeah, well, he does a lot of stuff, so... And then, uh... That's about it, really. That's I know that's coming up comic-wise. I think... I feel I mean, like there's, there's a couple still... other things. Oh, man, like, there's like always Like I said, tons. Goosebumps is coming out, comics... You know what I just saw today and was started reading? Uh... The... Adventure Time regular show crossover. Yeah, I've seen those comics before, but I was like... At that point... Do I really want to read the comic when the show's already there? It's like, what, what much more can you give me in the comic that the show did not give The me? crossover! That's, that's exactly <laughs> what they can give that is crossover. the crossover. No, I don't think so. Um, um, you know, to tell you the truth, I was never a fan of Adventure Time. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan, but I, I like... I like maybe the regular I, show maybe a little bit, but I was still not a fan even of that. I just like the regular show because it was such a bland blah show that I could just be like and it was very uh 90s 80s this that's the only thing I liked about it that's not like when they were playing video games yeah. it's always like 90s video games then, and then uh, you got like the old man pop 
I like the, uh, you know, what I was going to say? I do like a gumball. <laughs> so my son watches that, so I'll watch it with I just like that because of the animation. It's really done well. Like how they can do cartoons and then yet do 3D characters. Yeah, they, they do do that. Have that realistic background. And it's not like the stories are super bad or anything. It's just like new age story stuff, which is tough, you know? Well, they, 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 if you watch it really, you know, there's a lot of like uh, homages to like old school movies. Like they do one to E.T., they do one for Alien. Oh, man. They do one for, uh, 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 that movie Wolf on Wall Street because oh, wow. they do that scene where they're in the CEO office and they're going mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> wow. it's like these guys are awesome because they these guys are guys who like shit that we do and they, right. they, they try to squeeze as much as they can into the show, in their shows like, and that they know us that are watching and be like oh I know what you guys are talking about right there <laughs> Definitely. I like that they do things like that. It's a good thing cool to do things, things like that because it connects you with your fan base. You know what else came out this week? The uh, Batman White Knight. I uh, see. I wouldn't know too much about what's going on. You, DC. Dude, it's you gotta check it out. DC is doing really well, I good know, stuff. Why aren't right they now. gonna get rid of Batman because it's not gonna get married? I don't know how that's gonna work. That they already. This one's another universe kind oh, of thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, they said it's. They said it's for sure happening. He's getting married to Catwoman. That's for sure. I just don't know if they're gonna get rid of him. I mean, at that point, who would be Batman? Would it just be Azrael? Could I mean? There's a ton of candidates. Didn't right he now. just come back? I'm not just yeah. just, but yeah, he's back. Like literally, no, but like now in these newest issues, he was like kind of back in them again. I heard he was. No, he's in them. That's what. But it's not like he just. He was part of them for a little while now. Oh. Like. He had, like, a little rundown again where it's, like, the fall off the track kind of thing. But it wasn't even really him. It was, like, it was kind of him. But it was kind of him. Like, just for, like, a second. It was, like, just only tried to murder you for a second. Yeah, come on now. But, no, um, it's really, really good stuff. The Batman White Knight stuff, though, is another, like, hypothetical kind of one where... A what if? It's not even a what if. It's, like, just, like, yeah, it's a what if, basically. I don't know if they're trying to make it continue. I don't think they will. Where he, the Batman just keeps going farther and farther, to, like, not to kill people, but just, like, chasing the Joker. And he eventually just hurts people, causes damage, and he ends up shoving a bunch of pills down the Joker's throat. And, like, almost killing him, and then it's just, like, Joker, like, becomes sane suddenly. And, like, he's a genius already. So once he's sane, he's like, you know fuck this and fuck you and fuck everybody you didn't help you just let this crazy ass motherfucker beat the shit out of me instead of you know fixing my mental issues and so he's like I'm gonna sue you I'm gonna sue the city and then I'm gonna fix the city like you guys never could I'm going to be the white knight is literally the you know just like we'll see how this goes it's like an interesting concept okay, I guess, yeah, you gotta check it out it's really uh, they just play it well where it's like the Batman going off it's like Batman, what are you doing? Those those pe houses could have people in them. How do you know they wouldn't collapse? He's like driving on the roof. And the Nightwing's just like, rain him in, Babs. He's like, I can't do it. What the fuck did you do? He's like, I stopped working with him. <laughs> you should check out um, Sacred Ke uh, Creatures. That's a good one, too. It's only on its third issue. I'll have to get up into it. Because I've been trying to, I, gotta, I think I'm caught up on so many turns, but I'll have to catch up on that. There's so much good shit to catch up on. Everything is great, honestly. I get caught up on Redneck. Um, that one, I wonder if it's going to end soon. Man, those Bat Metals are really good, though, because they're just so dark. They're like the darkest, twisted versions of Batman you can think of that are related to, you know what I mean? It's like, mm -hmm. oh. The, the, all, they're a little bullshit, but. Mm -hmm. Comic books. Well, with that, what else do we have coming out? I think that's about it. We've got some stuff. Um, video games are going to be on the ready. Oh, Bat a Battlefront comes out next month. Yep. I heard be. the beta just came out. I was actually going to sign up for it because I think I just got an email for that to say to sign up. I should definitely do that. I guess in gaming news, not in gaming releases, like the worlds right now for League are on. Which is, you know, it is technically the biggest esport in the c <laughs> currently. I find that hilarious, but only because of, like, Japan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or not Japan, but Korea. Like, in Asia, really love the sport. People here do, too, but, like, just to a far greater extent over there.
people actually give a shit. Oh, dude, the Black Bolt series and the Darth Vader series, of course. Well, that one still, yeah, keep, is going to keep going. Yeah, that one that's just been, good series. So was, yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. I just like to give people shouts to like tell them what's good stuff to read because there's all kinds of great stuff to be read. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a long day today. Same. Oh, I think that might be most of it. I mean, there's not too, too much else going on in the world of comic books, at least. And TV shows. And games. Rick working. and Morty just had a season finale. Did you like it? I thought it was pretty ending. good. The ending ending I didn't like, but the mo- the episode itself was pretty good. The ending, not so much. Yeah, I kind of liked where it ended off, where he was just like, they said, fuck you, Rick. <laughs> I like that, but then it was just like, ah, oh, it's back to season one, it's our problems are fixed, it's going to be losing. It's like, I think that was just kind of a joke, though. It's just like, yeah, we're not going gonna... back to that, we're just fucking That's true, you. and then you got, I did like the Mr. Poopy, but I was like, sorry, I didn't show up all season, I was busy doing things, I got, got a family, got it. Like, I, I hope, hope you weren't doing, I hope you were doing some. And not sitting around. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. And not doing shit, but sitting around. <laughs> doing nothing. Waiting. And I was like, <laughs> but waiting. <laughs> you piece of shit, so you make us wait how many? <laughs> it's like, I don't... How long was that? I've waited for almost two years? It was pretty close. It was almost two, I think. That's a long time for such a popular series to wait. But, you know, creative differences and... If you have to be drunk. Well, to play I heard character. that they were that that was all a lie. That um, they even came out and said that no, that wasn't true. That we there was no creative differences. Uh, either way, you never know. That's the excuse. So now we'll never know. You know what I mean? It's we'll never know things. what really took a. Yeah, it's like it's like when you. That's the problem with lying. You guys are gonna come out with really. your future around like that. Again? Yeah, but they're bringing it back on sci-fi, right? Is it sci-fi? I don't, oh, sci-fi I, don't know bring, I don't know who's bringing it back, but... I think yeah. it's sci-fi. What do you think? Acquired the, acquired the, oh, once fuck again, yeah. I'm going to be watching again. the shit out of it. You know what's funny is that this is the third time that... Oh, no, this is coming it, back here three canceled. times. <laughs> it's never going to die. It's got to be a Guinness record at some point. we want our future around my fucking... Dude, it's too good. Like, it's so... It doesn't get always the best like, view ratings. It's so Why? classic. I don't understand. Well, it's also the animation style is really expensive. Really? For yeah, that? they use three. They use three D rendering for that. Yeah, right. It doesn't look three D. I didn't. To me. Yeah, I don't it's either. But that's 2D. what it said. They said the original. Maybe they don't do it anymore. But they said the original three episodes cost like each a, maybe, eleven yeah, million. Yeah, because by t- by now they should have come out too. with something uh, something better by now. Yeah, too. I think originally it was like super expensive, expensive. though. Okay. Yeah, because like, yeah, it was on, what network was it on first? Who had Fox, it first? Fox, and then after that, then it went to Comedy Central, and then now you're saying sci-fi, huh? I think so. Let me check. I'm going to go look up the news on this, because it's worth looking up. <laughs> and then, I feel like there's a couple other things we, we should be coming out with, but I just don't know what. Uh, I mean, there's always stuff coming back. Stranger Things Season 2 is oh, on the way. We get that in October, yeah. We got a lot of scary movies yeah. that coming out. Oh, man. Off-network deal, Futurama. Sci-fi network. I think it's just airing, though. I don't think it's being an re-released. Ooh. Non-exclusive deal. Futurama will make its debut on series. will air Mondays and Tuesdays. From another center, all the time. Blah, 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 they're coming. Oh, they're still going to do the Gambit movie. I heard that. Did you, oh, that's something that's new. They have... A Rogue and Gambit comic coming as well oh, as yeah, a I Legion seen comic. I've seen that. I was pretty excited for I the Legion. I didn't see the Legion. Yeah, they're doing a Legion too. I'm so excited for that. I'll pick that one up. Same. There's no way I can't pick that yeah. one up. What do you think about Star Wars? You think it's going to be all hype and just. The thing is, I. The thing is, Star Wars, even when it's bad, is good. <laughs> the, the, the shittiest parts of it. The shittiest Star Wars, oh, which everyone that. agrees is Rick hands down. It's their own new comic. Oh, oh, he's gonna get his own, huh? He was a fairly interesting character, I thought. I uh, yeah, I thought I like it. I think okay. it's more popular than I got a comic that's worth some money now. <laughs> if he does get popular, what do you think? Like a Hulk? Uh, I don't think he'll get that. It depends on how they develop him, though. Let's see. What do you th- what do you guys think about that character? thing is the story is always more important than the actual character design 
<laughs> so there's that, and then Spawn will oh, where Spawn films in 2018. I'm excited for that, and then obviously we have Black Panther coming, Avengers: Infinity War, Justice League, etc. You gonna go watch My Little Pony today? My Little Pony. I actually don't know anything about. Uh, I don't either. My one is one of my friends is a brony though, and I'm, I oh, always. Oh, he's a brony. He's a brony. Does he go to the brony conventions? He doesn't go that hard brony, but he's a brony. <laughs> <laughs> he's not hardcore brony. He didn't tattoo the brony and wears a pink ponytail all day. Hmm. This is like. Hmm. Hey, that, uh, there's no offense there. I'm just saying that's a hardcore brony. Hardcore. So we have coming out this month at least we have the Leatherface and then Jigsaw oh the Call the Chucky on Netflix yes that's coming up too I kind of want to see that I was always a fan even though now if you watch the originals they're very cheesy watching those as a kid though scared the shit out of me 11 <laughs> 11 that's when the future begins for what for the uh, sci-fi lineup. Oh, okay. But they're, I don't think they're making new stuff. Oh, so it's just going to be reruns. Probably, yeah. Oh, that's dumb. Nobody cares about that. Hey, man, I care. Unless they're making new stuff. They have to. Why would they bring that? What would be the whole point of that? All right, let's ask. The computer! Computer, tell me! Oh, you're right. Fanverse 5 did come out already. Hey, I'm right. Jesus. Oh, and there's your white knight one right there, too. Told you, man. I'm on top of the shit. <laughs> I don't know about white knight. It's really good, man. You should read it. It's really good. Oh, yeah, and then we got Cloak and Dagger coming oh, up pretty soon. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Cloak and Dagger. I hope that's good. We'll see how that happens, huh? Let's see. I'm free for him. I don't think I... Oh, The Spirits of Vengeance also came out oh, this Oh, I month. didn't read that one. I should... I, I saw that and I didn't read it. God yeah, damn it. That's on my list, pool list, too, so I have to... Those assholes had not put my order in, though, yet. Ooh. No. <laughs> so now I have to go see tomorrow if they're working and I can get my order. That's the funniest shit, too. Futurama has earned six Emmy Awards. <laughs> and Family Guy's won zero. <laughs> no, they won one. No, they won a Grammy. They didn't even win an Emmy. Because it's, I mean, Family Guy. It's not that good, good, but it's not. It's not that very well great. written, though. Yeah, it's not really well written. It's it's a good concept and they, it's funny, but it's not well written. I would even say kind of the same thing for a, a decent amount of South Park. Not all of it. Some of South Park's overarching stuff is awesome. I liked last episode. Last episode of South Park was hilarious. Oh, I've been loving this whole season. I was so pissed at him for making me laugh at kids being run over. Because <laughs> that's just the first time that happens, bro. And Carmen's just like, I need to get everyone focused on suicide prevention. I, and then it just I shows that like kid that getting mowed. I that didn't like it. Was all right, but it was funny though. There was it some was. Parts. It was. That was like literally the only time is when they caught me off guard, and then they caught me off guard again. With, like, the slow run over at one point in the bumper cars or something. I was My like, favorite part is just when he's like, Alexa, please put on... Oh, my God. Uh, so, uh, of course that's your favorite part. <laughs> 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 he goes, Alexa, please uh, add on my shopping cart ball sack. And then Alexa's like, adding ball sack on your shopping cart. <laughs> you know what my favorite, like, oh, my favorite so part funny. of that one, bro? Was when they replaced him with the, the country guys. Oh, that was so good, too. And, and they, they and does then, the Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. He's like, humble, be, sit down, and, be humble. And he's just all singing it. And I was like, sit this down, is some red Be humble, humble, sit down. That was good. I like that. That was and the one. He's they, they take I remember, our, Grandma. <laughs> they taking our jobs. It's like Jim Bob <laughs> adds, adds crunchy scrotum sack to him. Oh, that's it. The hell you say, boy? The hell you say, boy? Has scrolling sack to my <laughs> shopping list. <laughs> that was such a good one. He's like, it's degrading. I don't want to do that job. <laughs> hey, Gerald. Yeah? You didn't go to college. And 
Coal mining and truck driving aren't exactly jobs of the future, so add fucking balsa wood <laughs> tile to my fucking shopping list. I was like, damn, that's cold blooded, dude. Coal Jesus. mining, coal mining, and truck driving are not the jobs of the future. <laughs> oh, I was like, you did. Oh, that's so messed up, dude. That's. That's on another level of fucked up that, shit. No, that's why I said last episode it had me rolling. I like that one. That was better than second episode. Definitely. I can't wait till fourth episode next week. Because it was supposed to come. I thought it was coming. First episode week. was pretty good too. With oh, the, no, that was good too. That or was no, good. that was. No, I'm sorry. It was, but I was actually thinking of the last episode too, the other part of it with Tweak and Trump. Oh, yeah, and they were doing what was that. that first episode? No, that was the second one where there was Tweak and. Uh, oh, that was and, pretty What's his name? It's like Korea says it's Tweak and. Oh, yeah, that was funny, too. That yeah, was yeah, so yeah. funny. It's like, He's like, Tweak Trump... ain't afraid of nothing, you bitches. He's like, Tweak will go against all you Korean. <laughs> you <laughs> you like... ching chong, ding dong. And I was like, it was that... so bad. And guys. he's like, look what he's doing. Why is the president doing this to me? Why? Why? <laughs> it's like, are you kidding me? He probably sh- in those brackets. <laughs> was... Oh, yeah, I guess oh. he... when Tweak yeah, came in those brackets. He's like... North Korea is now uh, practicing targets on Tweak. They, they have sent. They have launched a missile nuclear... over my house. <laughs> they just, just fired. In, a just test. In, yeah, just in. They just fired a, 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 test a, a missile, missile over, over Tweak's house. house. Like, those pussy ass Asians wouldn't give Tweak to. He could take him with one arm on his back and the other. <laughs> That's basically the gist of it. It was the worst. Those are the only parts of like when when Cartman did the singing though at the end. I was like, eh, all right, Cartman, you do your thing. Yeah. Or when he would just like kept saying, "Scoo." <laughs> oh my gosh. That was so terrible, but funny. It was the this, it's been funny, but it's just so bad. It's like why? Yeah, those are good. Those are good. Next week we get that, and then. What else? what else is on the way? There's tons of stuff, guys. Like, uh, who who knows what could be coming? Oh, we got another comment because Mikey's finally here. It's a bit of freestyle. <laughs> I cannot, unfortunately, do that on this show. Or I would. It's <laughs> <laughs> all I know how to do, damn it. I have to be good at something. Yeah. What else Sit down. Be humble. <laughs> Sit down. Be humble. humble. <laughs> That's how you sing that so redneck. Singing so. Uh, doot doot volume at 65%. 65%. <laughs> or what did they call They called them their names, right? Yeah, it's like, like Jilly, Jilly Bob. <laughs> Lower the volume down. Mm-mm. Say, uh, volume lower the 65%. Oh my god, it's so bad, though. It's so funny, but so bad. It's like, this is degrading. <laughs> they took our jabs. <laughs> You're just afraid. You're afraid because you can't put it. It's like, I, you don't understand. I can't break down that wall. It's load-bearing. <laughs> oh, my God. That was so dumb, though. It's just like, it's okay. We're going to jack it up on a steel beam. <laughs> <laughs> and then he still breaks down his fucking wall. Oh, that was so great. So good. Well, I think we've reached almost an hour, and uh, seeing as it's a slow night, we're just filling in. Uh, I think we're gonna call it a night. But uh, thank everybody who did come in and watch. Thank you for coming by, Izzy, and helping me no fill problem. in and just keep an episode on so that people know the lights are still on, even if it's not always running. It's it's on. I swear to God. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thank you everybody for uh, tuning in. And we will have to catch next time.